Hey there, this is uh, part three of our video on how to uh, set up things at GoDaddy if you're going to run a production server there. So in this, well, in the previous two, we created an SQL database, and then in the last one, we modified our web config to use that database. In this one, we're going to go um, into the database itself and show you how to, if you want to add files or create things. And what the one thing I'm going to do here uh, is create some roles because we can always create users just by making the um, use the create user wizard but we can't create well we can't easily create roles so um, I'm just going to show you a little bit of this so um, just like before you know you log into your account go to the um, web control page and then go to the database page and once you're here click on this manage via web admin and it's going to ask you to log in now so now Rather than talking to the web server control, we're talking to the database. We're talking directly to the database. So this is where you need to log in. With uh, you know, when you created your database, you gave it a username and password. So I'm going to type some stuff in here and then come back and gray this out. Okay, after you click connect, you'll see this. And what you can see here then is we can view our tables, the tables in our database. And these ones we didn't we haven't made these, but they're just here. And the reason they're here is we said install that ASP.NET schema. And these are all the tables that are created and they all have fields in them all to handle the membership stuff. So the next step again in creating roles is we're going to actually uh, come down here and just run this query analyzer and what this does is allow us to run direct queries um, right to the database and so to create roles what we can do is again it's in this uh, same word document is we're going to do this we're going to say this just create role and I'm going to, so I'm going to come over here to this thing and type the, or just paste this in here the role I'm going to create though I don't want to call this admin in fact I don't remember what I called my role so let me go back here real quickly and uh, I'm going to check the web config in one of these files in the admin file because I think I got both role names here. I think I had, I don't know, employee and manager or something like that. Yeah, employees and manager. So the roles that you want, the roles that you created on your um, test server, you know, in, the, in that um, ASP.NET MDB, whatever it is, test file, we need to recreate those. So once I just change that role that I want to create, I just do execute here, and it comes back and says, executed successfully so I make one for employees and one for manager and this is where it really helps if you know SQL you can talk directly to the database and you could recreate all your tables you can do whatever you want you can actually import things which I'm not that good with so I'm just gonna kinda do things this way so um, again to click execute and it says uh, script executed successfully so now we've got the two roles in there then the last thing I want to do is add at least one user to the role so that I can get into my s admin folder and uh, I'm sorry the main one is my manager I want to be able to add users here so um, again if we scroll down here a little bit I've got the SQL query made for you So we're going to execute this command, and we're going to change a couple things. And one thing to look at here, we have to put a date in, and the date is month slash date, you know, two digits for month slash two digits for date, four digits for the year. Um, so we'll come back here to that window where we're talking right to the database, and I'm going to paste this in here. And I'm going to say... Uh, Add the user to the role. The username I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put in Tony and I'll get rid of him later. And the role name, I want to be manager. 
so I can create other users and the date. I'm going to make this 08, 05, 2011. Okay, so I'm, this is kind of small in here, but you know, there's quotes and things I got to do. Copy and paste this. Everything will work out okay. Just uh, got to change those three fields. So I'll say execute this. It says script executed successfully. So that's it. So again, uh, we should be able now to log in as Tony, and he should be able to be a manager and uh, go into all, all the other stuff that we wanted to do. So uh, again, that's the steps for doing this. You know, open up that uh, database script manager so we can get in there and talk directly to the database. And then I, um, if you're not an expert at SQL, grab this Word document create your roles and then make sure to add at least one user to your uh, to your uh, you know whatever your admin role whatever you want to call it okay so that's it for this video and I think that's pretty much it for setting up the database oh you know other thing I want to show you is how to use FTP to move your files up